In this episode, I will show you how to work with color in Illustrator. First, I'm going to show you the basic elements used in Illustrator. If you want to work with color, you have to know the fill and stroke, you'll find them in the toolbar over here. This is called the fill, and it is called the stroke. You can also find it in the control panel overview section at the top right here. This is for the fill and this is for the stroke. The second is gradients. This is the cool part in Illustrator if we work with color, you can give various colors to a shape or an object. But before we move on to the next step, I want to open up two color panels that I often use when working with color. Go to the window menu. And the first panel is the color panel. You can make it a floating panel like this so it can stay open until we close it. The second panel is swatches. Do the same as the color panel. So what should we do now? To be sure, we need an object to be colored. Let's say a circle, the object is not important because we will only work with color. I use the ellipse tool to draw a circle. By default, when creating an object in Illustrator, we will get a white fill color and a black stroke. You can see it here, in the fill and stroke boxes. White in the fill box, and the stroke with black. Double click on the fill box to change its color from there, and that will open the fill color picker panel. Here you can choose any color. The first basic thing you should know in this color picker panel, is this color spectrum, and this color field. That's all that matters at this point. The color spectrum, allows you to choose a color range from red to green, blue, and back to the red. You only need to move this color slider to determine the color you choose. So the color in the color field will also change. Let's just choose the blue color for now. Hold and drag to set it. Then move to the color field, you can choose the blue color based on the brightness and saturation of that color. You can also click and drag to choose the right color. You can see it right here, for a preview of the color you choose. After finding the right color, you can click OK. Or you can use this color panel, or these swatches to find a color. In this color panel, all you have to do is slide some of these RGB color sliders to look for colors. You can also find the color spectrum under these sliders, and if you maximize the size of this panel, you can have a wider color spectrum. Next on swatches, you can just choose any color here. Besides that you can look for another alternative colors in the swatches library menu. You will find various color categories. Like on this Macintosh system color, you just need to click on the color, that is there to change the fill color of this circle. Okay, I think I'm done with these two panels, now I'm going to try changing the stroke color. To change the stroke color, you just have to double click the stroke box in this toolbar. Or you can use the color panel, or the swatches panel. But the important thing you should pay attention to, when working with fill and stroke, is their position. As you can see now, that the stroke box is above the fill box, that means whatever you do with the color, only the stroke will be affected, not the fill color. For example, if I directly select a color in the swatches, then only the stroke color will change. And if the fill box is on top, then the opposite applies. And to bring this fill box, above the stroke box, you only need to left click once. After that, choose a color in the swatches or the color panel. Do you see it? Only the fill color changes. So in short, if you want to give color to the fill then you have to make the fill box above the stroke box, and vice versa for the stroke box. Next question. What if I don't want to give this circle a stroke? All you have to do is select the stroke box, then click the none button below it. Vice versa if you do it on the fill box. I think you already understand the basic concept of how to work with color in Illustrator, especially for the fill and the stroke. And we move to the next session for